What's up, everybody? Hello, hello. Welcome to Comedy Sports on Twitch. We're so excited to have you today. I'm Nick. Guess what? That wasn't my real hair, but the real thing we're going to do today is to have some fun. We have two great teams playing for you tonight. We have Channel Surfers and Snow Joke, and it's going to be a blast. So uh, let's just get started going. So the very first thing I'm going to ask for you all is some great suggestions that we can pull to inspire some scenes tonight, especially for our very first game. So uh, while you're putting those in the chat, I'll start explaining our very first game so we can get to meet the rest of the surfers. So the very first game we're going to play tonight is called What'd You Get? So we might take one of these suggestions and let's say the suggestion was Owl. So I might say, uh, I crossed an owl with uh, Fran Drescher. And someone else might come up on screen and say, what'd you get? And I might say, a hoot nanny. But up, up. So there you go, there you have it. We're gonna have a hoot and a half, maybe even two tonight. So let me go through all of these great suggestions. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my gosh, there's so many good things. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take cheese. So cheese. Uh, let's see, cool, so cheese. So, uh, hey Jim. Hey Nick. Hey, I crossed cheese with a cup. What'd you get? A cup of cheese and noodles. <laughs> <laughs> hey Angelica oh my bad hey Jim <laughs> hey uh, I mixed uh, cheese and some really uh, fantastic inspiration what'd you get a gouda job <laughs> hey Tyler hey Angelica what's up I mixed cheese with a really long night. Oh, wow. What'd you get? A cheesy date. <laughs> hey, Clark. Yeah, Tyler? I mixed cheese with a battle on the frontier. What'd you get? I got Curdster's Last Stand. Whoa. Hey, David. Yeah, Clark? I mixed uh, some Swiss cheese with some burnt toast. What'd you get? Holy smokes! Oh. Hey, Sam. Yeah, David? I mixed cheese with a heavy metal concert. What'd you get? Melting my face off. <laughs> hey, Maya. Hey, Sam. I mixed some cheese with some rad skin. What'd you get? The Swiss Alps. Ah! Hey, Nick. Hey, Maya. I mix cheese with a tight face. What'd you get? A bold mold. Ha <laughs> ha, classic. All right, let's switch things up. Let's grab, I'm gonna take the suggestion of vacuum. Hey, Jim. Hey, Nick. Hey, I crossed a vacuum with children's paint. Oh, what'd you get? A dyed son. <laughs> hey, Angelica. Yeah, Jim? I mixed a vacuum with my weekend chores. What'd you get? Very angry between the ages of 7 and 13. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Angelica. I mixed a vacuum with science. Whoa, what'd you get? Black hole. <laughs> hey, Clark. Yeah, Tyler. I mixed a vacuum with a Lady Gaga song. What'd you get? I got myself a bad romance. <laughs> Love it. Hey, David. Yeah, Clark. I mixed a vacuum and a broom. What'd you get? A clean sweep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam. Yeah, David. I mixed a vacuum with The Office. What'd you get? A clean comedy. <laughs> hey, Maya. I mixed a vacuum with a petting zoo. What'd you get? Dust bunnies. Ah! Hey, Nick. What's up, Maya? 
I mixed a vacuum cleaner with a president of the United States. What'd you get? A Hoover. <laughs> Classic. Classic. Awesome. I think I'm going to take another one more suggestion. Let's do uh, markers. So, uh, hey, Jim. Yes, Nick. Hey, I crossed some markers with a large group of people. Uh, what'd you get? Mark us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Angelica. Yeah, Jim. Uh, I mixed uh, markers uh, with a uh, unloved candy. What'd you get? A permanent patty. <laughs> hey, Tyler. Hey, Angela. I mixed markers with my childhood. Whoa, what'd you get? Unraisable mistakes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Clark. Yeah, Tyler. I I mixed uh, I mixed a marker with a bunch of unrobed people. What'd you get? A bunch of streakers. <laughs> hey, David. Yeah, Clark. I mixed a marker with a bunch of pigs eating hard candy. What'd you get? A pigment. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam. Yeah, David. I mixed a marker with my carpet. What'd you get? A bad stain. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Maya. Hey, Sam. I mixed a marker with a Tide pen. What'd you get? Invisible ink. What? <laughs> hey, Nick. What's up, Maya? I mixed a marker with a broom. What'd you get? A marker with a broom. <laughs> I should have seen that coming. Uh, that's game, friends. Yeah, great job, great job. Let's take it away for the next one. All right, now that we all got to know each other, let's do a little physical warm up. For this next game, I need y'all in the audience to start throwing in suggestions into the chat box of physical activities to do, like any kind of sport or even chores or anything that's gonna get us just moving all over our square. <laughs> While you do that, I'm gonna go ahead and explain the game. We're gonna be playing Try That On For Size. What you're gonna see is gonna be two players on screen that will take the suggestions that you give and act out the suggestion while justifying what they're doing. So if you say eating cereal, one of the players is gonna start eating cereal and say, I'm eating cereal, try that on for size. And the other player doing the exact same thing will have to justify a new thing. Like for example, I'm sewing, try that on for size. And the two players are gonna be going back and forth until either they can't come up with anything else, they change the movement of what they're supposed to be doing initially, or they say something that I just don't vibe with. At what point I will go ahead and tell them that their time has come. And then two more players will jump on screen with a brand new suggestion and do the same thing over and over for your entertainment. So let me take a look at those suggestions. And can I get my two players up on the screen, please? All right, your suggestion is diving into the sea. Uh, Clark, you'll be starting. I'm diving into the sea. Try that on for size. I'm doing a dance from the 60s. Try that on for size. No, skunk, get away. Try that on for size. I'm swimming like a cool person. Try that for on for size. Oh, oh yeah. Maya. Yeah, it was my very hand. close to the original thing. I'm sorry, but y'all are out for now. Can I get my next two players on screen? All right, and your <laughs> suggestion is watering the plants. Uh, Nick, we'll start with you. I'm watering the plants, try that on for size. I'm pouring a bowl of cereal, try that on for size. I'm doing a really jerky marionette performance, try that on for size. I'm handing out flyers to my show, try that on for size. I'm putting myself in a frame. Try that on for size. I'm shaking out laundry. Try that on for size. I'm stripping the hedges. <laughs> Try that on for size. Nick, I'm, a, I'm on the 
stop both of y'all because you did hesitate and I wasn't sure what you were originally going to say. It's so, true, me neither. Well, thank you for admitting that. Um, can I please get my next two players on screen? Um, and let's see, we're going to do, ooh, um, we're going to do peeling the protective film off new electronics. Sam, I think you got this. <clears throat> I'm peeling the protective film off electronics. Try that on for size. I'm taking a delicate peel of a sunburn of the palm of my hand that I got while at the beach off. Try that on for size. I'm airing out my pie. Try that on for size. <laughs> Interpretive dance. Try that on for size. Oh no, my dog has fleas! Try that on for size! Firecracker off the hand! Boom! Try that on for size! This is the biggest banana I've ever eaten! Try that on for size! <laughs> Slam dunk! Try that on for size! And 155 uh, workout! Try that on for size! Ring ding 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 ding! Ring ding 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 ding! Ring ding ding ding! Oh, the mower won't start. Try that on for size. I'm proposing! Try that on for size! Oop! It's my goldfish. His name is Harry. He was in my bowl. That's all I wanted to introduce you to him. Well, Jim, while I admire meeting your, your pet fish finally, I'm afraid that didn't adhere to what we were doing. So no. it's time for another duo to step up. <sighs> Can I get my next duo up on, on the virtual space? Great. All right. Let me double check on those suggestions. Because technology, what is it? It's a thing. Um, you both are going to be skiing. Uh, and David, you can start. I'm skiing. Try that on for size. I'm swatting a bunch of bees from my butt. Try that on for size. I'm making butter in two margarine barrels. Try that on for size. I entered I'm the Lone Olympian in the Lithuanian rowing competition. Try that on for size. I'm throwing a double punch. Try that on for size. I'm forward, I'm throwing double hammers back behind me. Try that on for size. I'm hitchhiking. Try that on for size. Oh, David, I, I, you're never going to get a ride with that hitchhiking maneuver. You guys, great job. But I think our, all of our times has come. And we're going to be moving on to the next game. Hey! All right. So you may not know this about us, but us channel surfers, we're pretty big movie buffs. Can't get enough of them watching movies every single day. Uh, so if you can go ahead and please throw some titles of movies into that chat box right now, that'd be really great. And you know what? While you're at it, please go ahead and throw the names of some actors, some celebrities with some really memorable voices in there as well. And maybe, you know, some cartoon characters, Disney princesses, all of that fun stuff. Awesome. All right. So a lot of movies have actors initially auditioned for them. And those actors, unfortunately, don't get the part. And the sad thing about that is we never get the joy of seeing those actors perform those scenes on the big screen until today <laughs> all right so can i have everyone uh come join me on screen hello everybody hello He's hello Sam. hi <laughs> hello hi so to get us started let's look through some of these awesome movies uh one of my favorites our first movie that we're gonna watch everyone audition for is twilight yes <laughs> And uh, my first actor to audition is going to be, uh, David, can you be Gary Busey auditioning for Twilight? <laughs> uh, hey, uh, do you see the, see the sun over there? It's a little bit of a twilight in my eyes. Oh boy. <laughs> 
What do you say? Awesome. Uh, Jim, your share auditioning for Twilight. <clears throat> well, I can turn back time because I live forever. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, Maya, can you play Tinkerbell auditioning for Twilight? Oh, I'm a fairy, and the Twilight is upon us. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and move on to another movie. Uh, let's do, uh, let's see, do, do Knives Out. So I'm going to have... Tyler, you're going to audition as Elmer Fudd in Knives Out. Oh, well, 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 well. Who, who had all these knives out in the wabby? Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Clark, can you audition as Jeff Goldblum? <laughs> Yeah, so there's all these knives, and they're supposed to be in the kitchen drawer, but they're out, so we gotta, we gotta do the dishes, honey, because the knives, they're, just, they're out, they're everywhere. Well, I think we've we've done casting for, the, for that movie. Let's move on to Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna have, let's see, I'm gonna have Angelica audition as Yoda. <laughs> Golden ticket, you must have. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Nick, can you audition as Kate McKinnon in uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, please? Okay, so you don't have to chew the gum, but I did. So, um, oops, but uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, let's let's have uh, Maya as Tom Hanks in 101 Dalmatians. Look at all these dogs, just <laughs> with their spots. Aren't I such a nice guy? Huh? Clark, can you audition as a literal baby? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, thank you, baby. All right, let's have Nick uh, in Jurassic Park as um, Tweety Bird. Okay. okay, I thought I thought I saw I thought I saw the fence come down, and then <laughs> and then the the, the, the the raptor cage it was open too, and I was really I was really scared. And so anyway, the cats are gone, the kids are gone, the doctor's gone, everyone's gone, but the dinosaurs are not gone. They're right here. Amazing. And Tyler, can you do a Pee Wee Herman for this? Ah, the dinosaurs! Ah! Maybe don't go away from this! <laughs> I'm doing the whole song! Tequila. Okay, keep going, keep going. <laughs> All right, and I think that's enough. You know what? That's enough auditions yeah. for today. Thank you Sam, so much. Sam, for I coming. would like you to audition real quick, yes, if you wouldn't yes. mind. Yeah. Uh, okay. Can, can Sean. You Sean Connery in Fried Green Tomatoes. <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, I'll take my tomato fried. <laughs> and that's the scene. Good job, Sam. You're higher. Thank you. Oh, my Thank goodness. Uh, well, uh, everyone in the chat, you can now say, oh, Channel Surfers has but one more thing. You can type that in there now and... I collectively heard all of your aws, but that's okay. We've got one more thing, so we're going to bring everybody back on screen, and we're going to do a scene with Tyler, Maya, and Clark. Now, as they're getting ready, I need you to start throwing in uh, some suggestions of a place that has a ton of active, uh, like an active location, like a spin class, Wall Street, a park, uh, any of those, but not those, your own suggestions, because I just gave those suggestions. Cool. As you're putting those in, we're just going to be seeing a scene. But something that you might not have noticed is that we're slightly competitive. At any point, any of our performers might lean in and say, I can 
do better. And I will hear them. And whether I decide if they did better, they will take over the scene and uh, take that person's spot and continue the scene. If I reject their ploy, they go off in shame to the corner of the screen, which is just right next to the computer. It's not far. Don't you worry. Uh, so as you heard uh, all of those mechanics, I am taking a look through here, and I see a post office, I see a Comic-Con, uh, but Comic-Cons and post offices make me think of pirate ships. So we take you to a pirate ship. I do you think the sail is, is, is mighty enough to conquer the wind that we're going to have this river? Wah, wah. Polly wants a parrot. Yep, uh, as Polly said, Polly wants a parrot. I think we need to put a parrot on that flag to tell everyone we mean business. We're sailing these seas with some birds. I'm raising the Jolly Roger, and I think it's pretty menacing. If we put a pirate, if we put a parrot up there, be like, hey, look, those jokers coming into our bay. What? What? Our model? Steven, no. we, we've been taking so many art classes over the sea zoom. I think that we deserve to show off our art to the world. And you think this parrot is art, do you? You want to throw it up on the top of our sail? Challenge! I can Sam. do better. I can do better. I can make less sense than Tyler. Uh, absolutely you can. Go make less sense. One day on my birthday, I ate 15 pineapples. <laughs> and then I fell down. Angelica. I could prepare for takeoff better than Maya. Oh, you most definitely can. Go prepare for takeoff. Well, you see, it's, uh, it's very important that you know how to eat pineapple correctly, because pineapple's the only food that eats you back, so good for you, sailor. One time, a pineapple fell on my head. Nick, I'm more dressed for uh, a nautical trip than Clark. Uh, you, ooh, I don't know. I, I love their uh, shirt. Denied. Shame you. <gasps> Go! <laughs> Continue, Clark. But I guess if you're loving pineapple so much, we could we could paint a pineapple. You know, I've been taking some still life classes. I'm pretty good at pineapples too. Our still lives all the way to the moon. Challenge. Yes, David. I can raise more flags than Sam can. You most certainly can. Go raise some flags. Yeah. Do you want me to put up the still life? Flag. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Let me let me find it for you. I'll just I'll go over here and I'll find you the flag, cause I thought we were putting up birds today. While you're doing that, I'll keep raising the Jolly Roger. Nick, my eyes can show more emotion than David's. Uh, you're right. They did when I rejected you last time. Do it. <laughs> we need to go to the end of the worlds. To the top of seas, to the largest oceans. That's where we need to I can to do be. better. Sam. I can take up more camera space than Nick. Take up the camera space. Go. And then I you know, went to the, you know, we're here and we're flying. Challenge. Tyler. I can be a better breakdancing bird than Angelica. <laughs> do it. Y'all ready for this, say call? Get ready for this, Challenge. say call? David. I can hold a flag better than Clark. And way uh, more still. You know, uh, hold that flag uh, still, yes. I can do better. Oh, how can you do better, Nick? Uh, I can be a better parent on a FaceTime call than Sam. Oh, uh, you know, I want to hear everything I'm doing wrong. Go for it. Um, yes, yeah, so you're doing all, so your Uncle Todd's in the hospital again, and uh, we hope he's going to do okay, but it's just it's the tonsils again. He never cared about my parrot breakdancing. Oh, yeah, well, his, his parrot used to go to his high school. 
End scene, because that was too real. Uh, oh, everyone, uh, thank you so much uh, for uh, checking out this first per uh, portion of the show. We have been channel surfers, and uh, we're not kidding around. There's another team immediately after us, uh, the one, the only, the Snow Joke. everyone we are snow joke and you are now watching an episode of csz unplugged i'm your host tonight lena dell hey girl hey and we are gonna play pass the mic can i get my contestants up while all my contestants are coming up audience i need you to put in those one syllable names in the chat please one syllable names like sam pam Pam, if you got it. Um, while you are doing that, I'm going to put my contestants in order. Starting with Ariel, you are going to be one. Isabella, two. Cassandra, three. Nate, four. And Katerina, five. I'm going to pause this right there. Audience, please give me those two syllable names in the chat. Two syllable names. Continuing on with ordering my contestants, Ron, you're going to be number six, Cersei, number seven, Sarah, number eight, Ryan, number nine, and rounding us out is Daniela with number 10. Audience, before we get started, for our crazy golden bonus rounds, I need three syllable names three syllable names okay while they continue with those we're gonna get started going for the golden mic ariel kick us off with the name ben pass the mic pass the mic i got a friend and his name is ben pass the mic pass the mic did you call me a chicken no i called you a hen pass the mic pass the mic were you talking to me now no i was talking to you then Pass the mic. Pass the mic. Nate! Nate, my friend, you were on mute! This isn't practice. This isn't a practice round. This is for the golden mic. You're out of here. <sighs> Continuing on with Katerina. I'm so sorry, audience. That will not happen again. Katerina, please kick us off with the name Fran. <laughs> I have a friend. Her name is Fran. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. He likes to eat all cereals, especially bran. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. Don't take her to a bar. I heard she's banned. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. I really like SpaghettiOs. They come in a can. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. For dessert, we had a flan. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. My tummy is empty. I would like some oat bran. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. I really actually have nothing this time. This is very sad. I'm losing now. Oh, but I loved the enthusiasm. All right, perfect. We are going to kick it up a notch. We're going to increase that pace. 
Uh, and real quick, we're going to make sure everyone knows their order. Isabella, you are now one. Cassandra, you're now two. Katerina, you're now three. Ron, four. Cersei, five. Sarwa, six. Ryan, seven. And Daniela, eight. All right. Isabella, kick us off with the name of Rich. I'm kind of poor, so I'm not very rich. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. I was riding my bike when I fell in a ditch. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. Reading books is his little niche. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. He's so nervous he has a twitch. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. I can't log online. I've got a glitch. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. Girl, please help me. I just, I got an itch. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. My favorite movie is Lilo and Stitch. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. I'm so poor, I wish I was rich. Pass the mic, pass the mic. Oh no, that was a repeat. We started oh. with rich. Ah, okay. Sorry, Daniela, you are out of here. Um, we are going to keep the same order since Daniela was the last. However, um, where is my number two? Um, yes, Cassandra, thank you. We are going to start with you with the name Bo. I had a friend, his name is Bo. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. Boy, we really like to row. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. The grass he likes to cut, he will mow. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. I don't have any money, I need to mow. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. I'm a snail, I move real slow. <laughs> My favorite commercial mascot is Flo. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. When they go high, we go low. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. <laughs> this is my first comedy sports show. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. <laughs> oh, a little hole in your sweater? I can sew. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. His favorite action figure is G.I. Joe. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. I thought we stopped. I don't have any more. Pass the mic. <laughs> Pass the mic. I only wish you had also said Mo like you did in your previous rhyme, just to give us a little comeback there, a little callback, circle back action. Uh, Cersei, thank you so much. Um, just to make sure we all know our order, uh, Isabella one, Cassandra two, Katarina three, Ron four, uh, yep, thank you, Sarwa five, and Ryan six. Um, I, Sarwa, why don't you kick us off this time and let's pick it up, let's pick up the pace and we're gonna go with a two syllable name of Angie. I got this friend and her name is Angie, pass the mic, pass the mic. A bone somewhere is called a phalange. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. Miss Vangie, Miss Vangie. <laughs> Pass the mic. Pass the mic. She was super loud, like a, honestly, a banshee. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. Let's go riding in our road, Rangie. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. <laughs> He's not a ninja, but a ninja. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. Ron, I love the enthusiasm, but it needed to end in an E sound, not an A sound. So close, so close. All right, continuing on. We are so close to our final rounds. Um, Katarina, please kick us off this round with the name Maddox. I've got a great friend. His name is Maddox. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. And you know what? That was my turn. And, and that's a great name. <laughs> Wait, like, great. All right. Let me let us reset, reorder for the final bonus round. We're going into three the three syllables. Isabella, you're gonna be one. Cassandra two. Katarina three. Ryan four. Ryan, kick us off with the name Rebecca. I have this friend, her name's Rebecca. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. You got a lot of them? Yeah, I have a hecka. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. I dated her. She was a real heartbreaker. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. Hey, I think you got a little flicka. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. This rhyming is a pain in the necka. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. 
Oh, no, Annika, I like to eat a latke past the mic. <laughs> I got a pain in my neck. Ah, past the mic. That's a past repeat. That's a repeat. <laughs> You're out. Okay, final three. Final three. Uh, Isabella, kick us off. It's going to be you, Katerina, Ryan, in that order. Kick us off with the name Oliver. I know this boy and his name is Oliver. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. And he likes to wear a pullover. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. Did you spill just here? No, I did it. Oliver. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. I don't love just one part of her. I love all of her. Pass the mic. That was just the rhyme Ryan did. Oh, oh, Isabella. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, final two. Final two. And we are going with the name Brittany. Three syllables. Brittany. Katerina, kick us off. I got a friend. Her name is Brit Brittany. <laughs> Pass the mic. Pass the mic. If I get much angrier, I'm gonna hit any. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. I'm so in love. I'm so in smitten. Pass the mic. Pass the mic. I only had one trick rhyme, so I'm done. <laughs> Katarina, you are the winner of the golden mic tonight. This has been CSZ Unplugged, and I've been your host, Lana Dell. Hey, girl, hey, we out. We are so happy that you are joining us tonight. We have a real treat on our Unsolved Mysteries show. We have a true expert in the house. My name is amazing amy i am joined here by my co-host hugh donahue and we have we are so excited to bring you to bring this to you tonight what i need from you in the chat is the unsolved mystery that our expert is going to be telling us about for example last week they solved the bermuda triangle or where amelia Earhart actually got off to if you can go go ahead and put that in the chat right now we're keeping an eye on that and then as we're thinking about this our expert didn't just solve this mystery um they solved it in a very unusual way so if you can look to your left right now and put in the chat what is next to you what is to your left that's what they're going to have used to solve this and then also they're not going to have done this alone they did it with a famous celebrity someone that would be easily recognizable like Dolly Parton. Uh, once we see all those coming in, oh my goodness, we've got some great things coming in here. We're gonna, this is amazing. This is amazing. Beautiful. Love this. All right, we are going to, I was just checking our, checking our thing here. We're going to bring our expert into the room and they can tell us all about, all about what they're doing here to, with us tonight. Let's get them back in here. And you know, Hugh, I am just so excited to have this show going with us tonight. I, I can't believe we're here again. We're here together. It's going to be a truly amazing one. Oh, it's going to be marvelous, marvelous. Oh, actually, we need our expert to go back out because we didn't say what you what it is you're solving. That was just in my head. And I was working. PAs, I'm so sorry. I'm going back to my trailer. Please get this. That was, that was on me. Too busy looking at it. All right, so our expert tonight has solved the mystery of the uh, Loch Ness Monster. They did that with a stapler and they had help from Minnie Mouse. So the Loch Ness Monster, a stapler and Minnie Mouse. All right, let's get our PAs back on top of their game here. All right, beautiful, here we go. So happy thank to you, be here. Thank you so much for your understanding. All of the PAs are fired now. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, good. I'm glad that was in my rider. So I'm glad that it was fulfilled. Thank you. Absolutely. And we're so glad that you were able to make it actually. We understood that you had trouble like getting into your car when you when you exited it the first time. So glad you were able to, to get all the way here with that trouble. Of course. Yes, of course. You know, I do run into a lot of, I'm a, you know, I'm an interesting person. I'm an interesting lady. I got a lot going on and car exiting and entering is just one of those things, you know, it just it happens to all of us. Like I'm a woman of the people. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Um, we hear that you love traveling the seas. You love traveling the seas. And you've seen some uh, magnificent things on the seas. Mm, I have. I Like I said, I'm a woman of, woman of the people. Uh, the people do live in the sea, okay? Uh, I fun fact, people live in the sea. Uh, and I am one of those people who just, I like to explore, I like to understand the world and how it functions. Uh, and and yeah, I have done a lot of sea travel, marine biology, uh, deep diving in the ocean, things like that. Yeah. It seems like in your travels though, the, the waters have been a bit murky. It has not always been easy for you to, to see where your research will take you. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I do have horrible eyesight, uh, so that is part of it, yes. Um, but I, I would love to understand a little more about the research you guys have done on me, you know, not to, not to be that kind of celebrity, but I do, I do like to hear what people have to say about me because I am a narcissist. So uh, if you could just explain a little more about me, that would really be great. <laughs> now, we heard that you love the coasts of Ireland and Great Britain, and you've seen the uh, str most strange things lurking off those coasts. Mm -hmm. And no, doing I and with the Smiths that would help you when you were not able to get in the car. Right, right, right. Of course, of course. Well, you know, being of the seas myself, you know, um, and, and I'm very well acquainted with all the other folks that live in and around, some might say mystical creatures, mythological creatures, you know. Um, but I, I, the thing that I have the most gripe about, if I can be real and honest with you all, in this space feels very comfortable very safe for me um is that i get made fun of for my long neck all the time you know and uh, as the loch ness monster like i just it's not right it's not nice and this might be say to have that no. well it is a real treat to have the loch ness monster who solved the mystery of themselves but what's even more remarkable is what you use to solve this mystery history. I mean, how did you hold all of this evidence together? It's a real question considering I don't have arms and I just have fish fins. Um, but I'm talented. What can I say? We hear that you like to use one particular um, object that most people take for granted and it's just bound to you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm a fan of uh, Mr. Elmer, you know, <laughs> I'm a big old fan of his blue um, and amongst other adhesives as well. So that's what the impressive part is, is, is the number of ways you have come up with the whole things together. I mean, truly, when I do this kind of thing, like I always end up just like, I can't I can't hold together paper. I can't hold uh, information together that way because I always I heard myself. But with your fans, that must be amazing that you you don't even have to worry about the injury of, of, of research. No, I don't. And uh, you know, paper cuts, stapling my own fins, perhaps tacking myself to things. It happens all the time. And as Nessie, who has solved the mystery of herself because she is so intuitive, I can't say it enough, you guys, as a narcissist. <laughs> um, I just, staples, they're handy. And and we hear that um, you have a sort of a partner in crime when you're solving all these things, and and then you and you have a particular liking to uh, a certain rodent, if you will. I do, I do. Like I said, I'm a woman of the people, uh, and I, my bestie, she and I are tight. We're like, we're like this but it's her tail and my neck. It must have been a real paradigm shift for you from going where you were and, and thinking that was the most magical place on earth until you found your new counterpart. Right, well, you know, you Americans, <laughs> being from Wales and, you know, over there, uh, you really hype up this place. And let me tell you, the only good part is Epcot. And after I met Nikki, you know, himself, it, it just, uh, he and I both found it best to relocate back to where I was from and continue to be besties over there. And they've got a Ratatouille ride over there now too. So it's the best of both worlds. My rat, his rat, 
solving mysteries and existing. Yes, and uh, we hear that your coworker also had to leave their boutique as well. She did, yes, yes, she did, uh, yes. Um, you know, the thing about me as Nessie is, and I'm sure our viewers are super interested to hear this as I am <laughs> the Loch Ness Monster, as I've stated several times now. Um, I have short-term memory loss. <laughs> Actually, long term. My brain is about the size of a goldfish's brain. It's really crazy. Uh, so I'd love it if you could explain to me again what you mean by boutique, because it's just not common. It's just not common in my little teeny tiny brain. <laughs> Well, you are so, you were so on top of your game, and it was wonderful that you included Mickey, but you also included someone else in your research who did who did have her own bow teak. Oh, his wifey. Yeah, that's right. Sometimes I forget that other people are friends with other people and not just friends with me. Uh, yeah, so Mickey's wifey, Minnie, came along, and she's great. She's really cool. Um, like I said, Mickey and I are like this. Minnie and I are more like, Yay, like that. But we all get along, we have a great time. So it's all good. Well, thank you so much for joining us tonight. This has been truly enlightening. Having a legend such as yourself on our show has been a dream come true. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, my fee is $2 million and you can just send that to Mickey himself. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Shopping Candle. I am your host. Uh, can we get a list of suggestions of things you might want to have a product solve that you might buy on The Shopping Channel? And all right, we're going to get our first product up. Um, let's see, Sarah, what do you have for us? Uh, problems that might need to be solved. All right, Sarah, let's see what you have in you. Okay, Nate. So I'm going to be real honest. I have so many products today. I just need you to tell me which problem you need solving because I brought so my, many in my suitcase. Um, my boyfriend cheated on me and I don't know what to do. Oh, say no more. Say no more. Yeah. Uh-huh. This is going to solve all your problems right there. Your boyfriend cheated on you? Boo. Boo. Um, were they as sweet as a pineapple? I don't think so. Could you plug them in no, when couldn't. you needed to? I don't think so. Could you open them up? I could. No, that's, that's what got you in trouble in the first place. They weren't being vulnerable with you. They weren't being open and honest with you. And that's what happened. This little cheater no more doohickey is going to be open and honest. And look right there. You just take a big whiff. No more boyfriend BO. Mm -mm, they're gone. They're it gone. So All right, let's move on to our, our next product. Uh, uh, let's move on to Ron. Um, he's going to tell us how. Oh, man, just the other day, I failed calculus. Ron, how are we going to help this and what? Ready to go here, Nate. You ready? Yep. All right, to help you with calculus, it's math. In math, you know, you use your fingers. And since you got a lot of fingers here, you just do E equals something to an imaginary number, slap it, and you come up with the derivative of what you need. Now, calculus isn't really that hard because as far as I know, I never got that far in school. So, but I would just sit there in class and if I was doodling or something and teacher did that to me, I'd wake up and ma magically I would have Einstein abilities. This is called the Einstein Waker Upper. Perfect for all math, especially calculus. And as we know, Einstein dropped out of school, so kids drop out of school too. All right. And exactly. Final call, Susie. Susie, she's going to tell what happens when you forget your mom's birthday. How are we going to solve this? You guys, it's happened. It's May 23rd, and oh no, my 
mommy's birthday. We forgot about it. Say no more. You guys, this is the never ever feel guilty about forgettering. All right. All you're going to do is just put it, my hair is up. So I'm not going to give you the full, I'm not going to give you the full details. All right. But you put it up to your hair, your hair catches on fire. Oh my God, you're bald. Literally the worst thing that could happen to someone, right? Right. And then what happens? Your mom feels sorry for you. Your mom feels yeah. sorry that she didn't give you fireproof hair in her genetics. Your mom failed you. Happens all the time to me. Yeah. It is the best way to never feel guilty again. And how much does it cost? Nate, Nate, you're my friend. Ask me how much it costs. How much does it cost? It's completely free. You just have to come to my house and give me a little kissy. Hey. All right, and I think that uh, ends the shopping channel. Please call our toll-free number on the screen now, and thank you. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our Hallmark Movie of the Week, where we are going to be cutting to the core of all of the most intimate types of human drama. Please drop a name in the chat of a Hallmark film that has not yet premiered on our esteemed network. First off, can I have all of our players on the screen with me, please? Yes, hello everyone. We are going to be going live tonight with our Hallmark Movie of the Week. Please give it up for The Happiest Stepson. Oh God, I'm so happy for my birthday today. Mom, stepmom. Yes, yes, and I and I and I wanted to play you a song on, on on my on my uh, uh, whatever this thing is. Um, uh, because you know, I love you so much, and I and I and I and I want you to know that you are my little man. Mom. The question. Hang on, I'm getting, getting closer. Um, well, I'll be right back. Your your cake is burning. Um, I'm gonna keep talking. I'm listening to you. I'm also listening. Oh, Dad, Dad, thanks. Um, Dad. Um. Yes. Mom went over to check the cake, and oh, because uh, I oh. was really happy, and now I'm really confused. No son of mine should be confused. <laughs> oh, I'm back. I, I, I'm I'm back and uh, and um. Okay, the, the honey, go... he's confused. You know I can't deal with that emotion. Uh, um, I'm always confused, so I need you to take over. Mom, Dad, the cake is still burning. Oh 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 oh! oh no, I'll be I'll be right back. I'll have, I I I got that. I got it. I got it. Well, do you need my help? I have a fire extinguisher. Oh, I think I'm okay. I'm just gonna swat it with my wedding dress. Uh, I, uh, this bit that was going so well, and now it's not. I, I got it. Are you sure you don't need it? I feel like, I feel like everyone's avoiding me. No, son, no, no. I'm not avoiding you. I'm just avoiding my problems. Um, when you say you have your problems, um, because oh, my, my dad avoided my problems. I'm um, not avoiding you so here's, on the cake again. Here's the thing. Um, we, um, I may have, I may have burned the kitchen a little bit. Um, so yeah. I got you some money instead um, for your birthday. I figured, um, you know, this would Money's compensate good. for me being such a terrible mom. I, here. Here. Let me grab some more. Oh, oh okay. Wow, this really is the happiest birthday ever. Uh, hon, don't slouch. Stand up a little. Don't, don't. It's your birthday. Be happy. Oh, yeah. Uh, happy is an emotion I'll, I can handle. I'll be right back. I, I, I forgot uh, another gift. Great, great. Um, 
son you're happy you're rich great um oh, oh remember when i was taking a a, a a a class um and i and i and i was and i and i didn't tell you what what class it was um it's because i was practicing you and i've heard this really so many times on this and scene everyone thank you so much for joining us for our hallmark movie of the week please tune in in two weeks when we'll be right back okay that's the end of the snow joke set thank you so much for coming tonight thank you also to channel surfers and everybody who watched us please uh come another week we play every wednesdays at 7 p.m two rec league teams every wednesday at seven and please Stick around for the absolutely amazing minor league starting at eight. Thank you.